Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome back, I'm super excited guys to welcome you back finally after a couple of weeks of a no-show or basically one week of a no-show because me traveling in <laughs> to interstate, yeah I had to go for work which was fun but obviously not uh, no go for our live stream and now we're finally back fantastic which is I'm super 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 excited today uh, to see everyone uh, online we have already a couple of people joining which is fantastic so guys um, today today we are gonna start a brand new project which means we are looking to expand the shop again i think this is gonna be our theme of the next couple of live sessions we are expanding our shop and we are doing more shop projects the next one's gonna be our uh, i'm gonna build a diy drum sender so i have already a couple of uh, stuff here uh, to for, for that drum sender so we're gonna do a DYI drum sender, which is awesome. And we already have someone online and asking a question. Guys, I'm always coming back to you guys. You, you, you're gonna be here and I'm gonna have a look uh, every couple of minutes uh, and uh, answer your questions as well. So today we're gonna have a, uh, a look and we start with the bass, which is awesome. So who just joined us? Oh boy, it's her. thanks mate. <laughs> Yeah, it was a really big break for me. I feel like it was uh, insane. So anyway, so we're gonna go and uh, what we do is we build most of it up as usual. DIY, DIY, <laughs> do it yourself. We're gonna build most of it out of construction lumber and stuff we can get from um, uh, from a big store. Like uh, in here in Australia, they called Bunnings. In America, they called uh, like something else <laughs> anyway uh, but yeah the big store office uh, the big store um, shops where there's most of it with construction numbers as well and as always guys you are uh, get the whole experience behind the scenes everything what we do with what I do with like recording the YouTube videos and all the fails you see everything uncut so again guys welcome I appreciate you guys joining and I think we're jumping right into it. So the first thing we do is, I kind of do it right out of my head. So the first thing what we do is, I'm gonna try to build a base uh, with two of those um, rolls in the front and the back. Wow, this one is bent ass. I just realized that when I looked at the video. <laughs> anyway, um, so with two rolls in the front and the back, I don't really mind if that is that bent. Uh, anyway, but this is only for the belt. So that's gonna be a base with a conveyor belt on the top that goes around and then the top is gonna be like a steel tube I'm gonna make that steel so it's 100% straight um, with the sand, uh, sandpaper around it uh, so that's gonna be two motors one, I ordered the motors already, they're not here yet one two horsepower motor for uh, the, 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 the sander and then a really really weak one like quarter horsepower one just a gear driven one uh, for yeah for the the conveyor system so we have a couple of things here already so the one tricky thing is obviously with the if you have a conveyor belt we have to somehow stretch it um, so to like if you want to change it or whatever then so we have to like make a system where we have the we have the base then the two rollers and one of the roller has to be extendable and constructible so that we can actually replace that belt if needed. So that's it. It seems to be a very complicated project, um, but I think we're getting done. So uh, I just get my two bevels. Okay. So this. Um, belt sander will be quite big for my purposes so I'm gonna make it out of two 2x4s two the base where I make it basically 60 centimeter wide 
Uh, so the base will be, so it will be taking 60 centimeters um, of, yeah, of stock. So the stuff will be all 60 centimeters wide. So you have to make everything a little bit wider than that, which is all right. We can do that. How much wider though is the question. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> How much wider is the question. Anyway guys, so um, if you have followed me like you have seen a couple of sessions ago or if you have watched the video uh, about this build here of the table saw and round extension, um, the, my miter saw died. So yes, it was a shit one but no miter saw now. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go and uh, get this done and yeah. Get everything going, guys. Let's see. So, first things first, we just gonna change quickly fuse, and we're gonna use. So we always let up. Don't let us stop. That we are doing uh, this right now, so that we're having issues with the um, <laughs> with the miter saw. We're gonna do everything then with our tr uh, track saw and our uh, circle saw, which will be easy. So, okay, once number one thing gets done. So as usual, I'll try to manage the audio as good as possible and get everything done as good as possible as well. Okay. Thanks for being so, oh wow, we have a piece here, which is hard. Okay, guys, so. Yeah, not really a plan as usual. We're gonna go and wing everything and see how big we can make that. So how long is that? It's okay. 241 and a half. Okay. So I'm gonna make that one my this is so what that thing. Can you see that guys? Jesus. Look how what that thing is. Woohoo! Potato chip! Potato chip. Well, that's fine. We can use it as for the sides to like straighten it out, so we can straighten it out right away. How is that shit? Right. Okay. So what I make here, I make a little cut first. First, we need our saw, which is also so yeah. This one because okay, I'll get a little bit off here with the camera. I must have popped it with something at one stage. Um, the clamp. The clamp. So we're gonna go I adjust it a little bit, guys. Sorry about that. I think, yeah, that is that is better because there will be a lot of working on the table today and tinkering and engineering and seeing what, what we can do. So one, we're gonna cut those ones, uh, those two bevels first, and yeah, we can switch that to over here. Switch the view again. Okay, so we cut that over here. So because I'll just cut it through here, because I have a little bit of a gap between those two tables, which is gonna be my support for cutting now. <laughs> like it. Okay. Always, guys, let me remember that I am recording, that I'm doing YouTube, because otherwise I'll forget everything. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're gonna just measure that quickly here. A one twenty pen. So the 
base is going to be 120 long. 120 times 60, which is exactly 2, 2 by 2, I think, I hope, except this one is exactly 60. <laughs> we'll see. So, don't cut into the new table. This thing is so up. It's insane. Have you can clamp that down? To just it. Probably safer, guys, to clamp it down because that thing is so warped. Okay. So, okay, PP guys, always very important. I love those R RC masks, guys, seriously. Um, I usually link them in the description, so if you want to buy one, it's really what I like most about it. It goes around the back, not just and not on the top, which is really annoying for me. And they have filters and everything. I know this one is a bit, um, a bit already rough, roughed up, but yeah, has to be replaced soon. Okay, I'm gonna turn down a little bit the stuff here so that you don't get eardrum damage. I should have protected myself too. <laughs> it's a freaking thing is loud. So luckily, we did get this Dewalt table, uh, this Dewalt um, circular saw for free when we bought that table saw. <laughs> so yeah, lucky me, lucky me, lucky me. Okay, 120 guys, again. So this is the thing with construction lumber, it's always a little bit too big, so always just take care of that. And see, well, I'm not super concerned about the base, the base just needs to be straight on the bottom and on the top, and that's gonna be fine, like the, the sides are always always exact. It's just the length, so it's not 100%. So yeah. Okay. Weird. Ah. Framing today, guys. It's like framing. Like framing a horse. The framers do the exact same thing. Two by four. Got the two by four. Speed square and it's so what and uh circular saw too easy put it here so that I don't forget again. Good. And right away I forgot my mask. Anyway, that's life. So, uh, <coughs> now we need a um, couple of 60 centimeter ones. The should be the exact same now. Which they kind of are, which is not that bad. So, basically here. Um, and then it's got 60, 60 centimeter stretches in it. And it's like a frame. And then I put an MDF on top of it. Uh, why MDF? Uh, or Melanie, one of those things. They don't move, they don't have wood movement and stuff like that. And uh, they're even like a Melamine even as well, it's it's very slippery, so it wouldn't get any friction with the conveyor belt once there's a bit of tension on it. So, yeah. Just realized I need some extra ones, probably. Those. But yeah, get some more dials. 
Okay, how long is this one, buddy? Oh wow, what did I? How did I cut this one? I don't know what I did. There. Look at this. Whew. It's like the crooked tower from Pisa. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't know. Like sometimes I'm just needed. Okay, okay. So. How long is it? Ba -ba -ba, how long do we have? 70. Okay, cool. That's good. We use it. We use it. Always try to use as many scraps as possible. So actually, I don't care. I don't have that many. Do I have that many? No. I don't really care. Except I have two more. Uh, one more, then I'm good. But if I don't, then... Come on! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Do I have more? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, no, no. Yeah, I have to do a pellet. I have a pellet in there too. But yeah, anyway. Then I don't care. I need to use the two of them. It's already... Uh, 60 left anyway, so okay. So this one has a bit of a indentation, which is alright. That's pretty straight though. Jesus. Wow. Yeah, that's really straight. I don't know what this one. Construction number cheap, but you get for your paper, I guess. That's what it is. So again, this one here, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna measure the first one, and then we will only cut from the stock because those ones have to be all the exact same length. If they are not, then our frame will be chunky. Okay, so yeah, we're still doing this. Cool. Are we? Yes, we're doing this. Good. Don't know if this is a shot. Okay, guys, I do a couple of cuts in at once. So just letting you know, I'll, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit.
Okay, good enough. So, we're gonna swap the fuel quickly. And we're gonna go to the top fuel and see. So, now we have cut those ones. You can see that they're all the same, the exact same length, which is awesome. So, now we're gonna start framing those together. And, and nice. A little bit cut off here mm. on the top and the bottom. Yeah, which is fine. Did I, no, did I zoom in a little bit? Let's see. No, I didn't. Okay. Anyway, um, so this is uh, so this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna just put them together like this. Okay. I don't know why this is here. Future projects, guys. Here, a couple, couple of tiny ones. Wow, this thing is big. It's gonna be big. <laughs> this is gonna be big. So obviously at 60 now. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Massive. So now we have 67 bit obviously because three and a half centimeters for the uh, okie dokie, um, <laughs> give me a second, maybe we make it a bit smaller, uh, I'm thinking of maybe making it a little bit smaller, just in case, but so I guess there's area now. Then there's a bit, bit of downtime. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna have to do something. Anyway, um, hmm. <laughs> or one twenty is long enough, and we can set it in like this. So if we set it in like this, we can put those ones here already. Yeah, I think that's it. And then it's 60 wide exactly. We have to do it, otherwise it's not 60 wide exactly. Okay, so, sorry, you couldn't see that right now, but um, so what I'm going to do is I set it in a little bit and then I set in those ones as uh, as the conveyor belt goes through and uh, for the conveyor belt for the pulleys so okay cool so we we'll set that in for how much how much do we set it in? um <laughs> let me think let me think let me think so the show that the conveyor belt is. So we don't set it in that much. Maybe this much. And then I put do one this side I think here. So that you guys can see how it is. Okay, cool. So how long is that? Let's say do exactly 15 centimeters. Fifteen on each side. Okay, so we basically inserted it fifteen centimeters on each side. Okay, it's gonna be interesting. This is gonna be an interesting project, guys. Seriously, an interesting project. Has to be a roll up here too. Just realized. Small one. Okay. Okay, so we make that pretty sturdy here, this one. Because that's why we don't want to have sag. Because when it sags through here, then you get, you know, get all wonky with your, um, with your sanding. So, yeah, I think that's it. That's how, that's how we do it. Guys, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Now, we need some nails now. Let's use those ones. Those 
wood nails, those massive ones. Ba -da -ba -bam. Massive nails. Look at this. They are massive. Doom. And they, so what they do is, you can see that here. Um, I hope you can see that. So they are threaded until here. So what that basically means is they are meant to self tighten then after it's in. So if you put two screws, uh, two uh, pieces of wood together, they actually like pull together because the second piece here is not, not threading anymore here. So it's just the wood is here and then it pulls it to the other one. So that's why I love those screws because, especially for framing here. Yeah? So yeah. Okay. to clamp them down because I want that to be straight as <clears throat> possible. No bow here allowed and this one is bowing like crazy. Just thinking of that construction over probably was a bad idea. Screwing is not too loud. Oh, the impact is actually quite loud. And it does that. Sorry. Okay, so next. Next two, and then the, next, the other ones we're gonna clamp down. So bonus, insane. How do I do the best now? Okay, two different spots. Less pressure. Because the clamps pull it backwards, obviously. Come closer to the edge. For everybody who has a joint, who has just joined it, we are building the base for a belt sander. Oh, like a belt sander. Uh, gonna be a drum sander, sorry. And this is gonna be the conveyor belt base. So yeah, so that the frame for the conveyor belt, basically. Come on, click it. Done. So, 
the idea is to get two rolls on the each either side and then a motor who is powering one of them and then a conveyor belt goes over it. The motors are over that I don't have them here yet, same as the conveyor belts. I'm not sure what I'm using there yet, I haven't found any. <laughs> We're all using construction lumber for everything, which is cheapest and very DIY. DIY, sorry, I say always say wrong. And there is flush. There is flush. This thing is just twisted. Jesus. Uh, so yeah, uh, it is very DIY. So that's great for everyone who wants to try this themselves. I'm not sure if I make plans for that, it depends on how cool they are, how cool the project is. But the, the plans for this um, station with the router table is all in the mix already, guys, so stay tuned for that one. So that we have 15 centimeters here for the roll still left and for all the mechanisms there. It's gonna be interesting. Wow, this is one, two, both and true. So I have to like really get everything tight so that there's no more vents and everything in there. So let's see how clear it gets. We will see. It's, it's hard to like, you know, turn off, turn up, turn up, turn it down, turn it up uh, when you like, just put in some screws. So. No, oh, you know what? I forgot to film that whole thing. Jesus. Which is fine. We have a whole other side to do still. Numero due. Probably the best thing to do is to is that clamp and how that is this one. <laughs> Even worse. Even worse. Okay. You know what? I think The way to go guys so we keep that clamp down so this is straight and then we try to get it the other one as straight as possible in and hope we pulls it straight together 
Which is very unlikely. But yeah. Wow, this one is what, eh? Jesus. Okay. So now it's gonna be a weird one because I have to go to the other side. Which is annoying, so annoying. <laughs> Is to like at one stage put a cabinet underneath and yeah see make it a rolling a rolling stand so yeah we will see come on get flush Sorry guys, that was super loud now. here if the warp or the gap here is because this is super warped and how up it's upside down that goes like it's insane so we're trying to get that all flush so the trick is to use the screws Stop. oh no no Screws. You can't get them out anymore, probably, because. <laughs> yeah, that's shit now. Thank you. Because they dug in here. Um, I need to get this somehow. A little looser. Ah, first mess up of the day, guys. First mess up of the day. So how bad is that? I think that's really bad, so... Yeah, this is pretty bad. This is like three millimeters off. That's way too much, in for DIY. Because, you know, we want to be accurate, yeah. Okay, guys.
yeah, yeah, no, yeah. We have to redo it completely done. So what happened just now is we we, end, uh, we we screwed that screw in and it was way too low. So I want to get it out, but the screw doesn't get out anymore because it's those weird threaded ones. So ha ha ha, head pants, head pants, head pants, We get rid of the screw now, and then we screw everything in again, and then yeah. But they're really good for frame. I did it last time. I think I got it in somewhere and then I got it out. Back in one second, I'm just trying to fix and get this shit screw out. <laughs> ah! I thought we didn't record it anyway, so it's fine. So, back to it again. Oh, no, now we are pressing recording. Absolutely. We forgot that before. Press record! Nice, nice, nice! ADHD <laughs> calling. Ok, 
Okay, next one. Oh, Jesus, wish I should have looked. That's existence, hopefully. Sometimes I don't know, I don't think. Wow. Lucky freaking me. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can think I can live with a two millimeter difference. One millimeter difference. Yep. That's fine. So, what is this distance here? So it has to be a bit less, which means here we go. That's it. Oh, this is not less than that. Yeah, I think that's easy. Yeah. Okay. 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 Just that stuff, I just that stuff and get this out of the way. It's round, it's annoying. So, 15, here we go, we have that 15 here. Okay. Handed as a boot blocker. Left and right. Left and right. Oh, sorry, guys, I'm not even in the picture. Jesus Christ. I'm not even seeing that. But yeah, I'm just, what I do is I just actually do the top frame here and then measure the distance so that the frames are completely parallel to each other, too. So that should be not a problem. So now, your turn, buddy. So that it's as close to true square as possible. 33. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Shirt. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a bit quiet today because in general, if I am so focused on something, I'm always struggling. So yeah, I'm struggling at the moment a little bit here because. This one is a bit twisted, but I can add it to get this one at least flush. Hey, come on, buddy. Okay. 
Okay. Let's try this. So we're gonna have to screw it down on the bottom and on the top. So MDF on the bottom, MDF on the top. Which is not gonna work. Yes, it will work. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'll buy one on the bottom and MDF on the top. Something. So yeah, that's fine. So just so it holds it down in each direction. It has to be thick plywood though. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Okay guys, so so far so good. This is our frame so far, which is not too bad. And now we just need to get it straighten it out somehow. Where we somehow like because it's not hundred percent flat, so we have to straighten it out somehow. What because it's not hundred percent flat, it wobbles a little bit on this side, but it's only because the wood is bent. So if I screw it down on an MDF or maybe a melamine or whatever, I hope, and, and on the top as well, I hope it straightens it out. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's keep going. Let's do that now. Straighten everything out before it's bad. Okay, this one doesn't look too good anymore. This one, this one, yeah. Jeez. perfect, hey, Whew. like a plant. <laughs> so this is my top melanin sheet that will be straight, but the pantic like she she be ah, just drop. This sheet is super straight. Okay. But that's fine. We can worst case scenario, we can screw it down every time we use it. So I screw it down on the table here or on the table on the other table. Or I, I make a table guys out of it. <laughs> One of those two things. But yeah, cool. This thing is gonna be massive. Look at this, guys. It's huge. Like so, this is gonna be a really nice and wide air surface area to build on. So imagine you can plane down this much with like a 60 degree sandpaper or something, or 40 degree sandpaper going down, ripping out materials for that. Awesome. Okay, so what we do is I'm gonna, yeah, gonna, ah, here we go. 15, 
150. Okay, so I'm gonna screw it down. Just realized I have to make some legs anyway for it because the conveyor belt has to go underneath too. So, no problem. No problem. I make something straight so it pulls it down completely. Maybe metal. Ha! Okay, cool. So let's just screw that on here and then see what we can do with that, with that stuff. Okay. I need handles for that in the, in the end because otherwise this is going to be very difficult to carry. Everything mobile here, guys. Everything mobile. I think I put it on the stand straight away and. Yep. Okay, guys. So I have special MDF screws here. That I'm using for that and I have to countersink them as well because obviously we can't have that sticking out this stuff once we are yeah we can't stick get this stick out because obviously it's like the belt will rip otherwise so we get a countersink bit and uh, our trusty drill here and a countersink bit and keep going with that. So my bits are down here. Bit big, smaller bit, yay. Oh, I forgot something to buy today. <laughs> that's, okay. that's okay, that's okay. Oh, we don't get that far anyway. see it on the, this one here. Is that right? Here you go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. While we're building, everything's a big always. Sometimes you have to think to yourself, why are you doing this to yourself? Everything is so big. So big. Okay, I'm gonna make this one here flush. Try to make this one here flush to come on. But it's not 100% straight. That's okay. We'll read it then. Okay. One. They're recording always, YouTube guys. Fun guys, don't bring in NDF shit. Sucks. <laughs> Very unhealthy. Sorry, I just had a mind fart. Let's 
screws are very hard. See? Mutant screws are very hard. I don't know where they are. Oh wow. <laughs> very counter suck those ones. Very counter suck. Okay, so, and we're gonna go back to our impact drill. So, guys, for everybody who has joined and has not heard it before, we are building a drum sander, DIY drum sander, and we're building and assembling the base at the moment. Just so, yeah, I have to have something here anyway, otherwise, probably do a gem for here. Okay. can see me do stuff. Okay. And we are back in business. Da -da 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 Guys, if you, you know, don't have time to like watch the whole thing, that's absolutely no problem. There will be a live cut always. So I'm gonna make a summary of what I did today. For first day, you can watch it again, and it's gonna be usually like a half an hour video instead of like a three hour video. And it's the exact same thing. Talking to you guys. The only advantage you have here, you see everything uncut, and you can interact with me. So please don't hesitate to send out messages. Okay. gonna be off again here. Why? It's gonna be frustrating because I wanted to build structures on this.
we do it this way, otherwise we're getting in trouble everywhere. That should do. This one is really chunky, but yeah. guys So we basically guys built now this we we attach now this melamine sheet which means um, we went a step further with our project build again again guys if you haven't joined beforehand we are building a drum sender uh, a DIY drum sender and at today we're gonna build the base and see if we can attach some of those rolls here. So basically what we did is, we made the frame, now we have to attach those, here, those ones here and we have to somehow inlay those ones. So those ones will be interesting as well. So I'll show you how they look. Um, so I didn't realize that they were round, so we have to inlay them. Uh, into the stuff here right now, which would have been probably smart to do before we assemble the frame because those ones now go in here. <laughs> 
which will be interesting. So yeah, so these ones um, have to be going in here now, into those areas. Uh, but first, we have to measure out that everything. So we have that um, axle here, and that can be cut in a couple of different spaces. And we have a look how that works. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, so we have a look how that works, which will be interesting. So first, we have to make that. Yeah, make that nice lush here. Yay! So we have to cut those ones sixty centimeters. I'm not going to cut those ones on the with the. <laughs> um, with the circle saw, I think I'm gonna go with the table saw with that one because it's round and I can somehow clamp it onto my crosscut, um, sl not slat, crosscut, <sighs> miter gauge, which is decent enough, hopefully, for a tiny little cut like that to not make it so bad. So how how much am I gonna take off here? How much am I gonna take off here? Oh, Paolo, my friend, is back. Welcome. <laughs> I'm gonna have to read what he's saying. Um, oh, awesome, Paolo. Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing great. Sorry, guys. Like uh, again, just FYI, the chat is always a bit delayed, so it's about ten seconds delayed. Just FYI, you know. Anyway, yes. Like yeah, no. Very busy. Very busy. Man, we're doing such a cool project. I think that's gonna be awesome. Um, we are actually like we're building a freaking um, a, like a, a drum sender. How cool is that gonna be? So drum sender thickness, like so. Yeah, because I got tired of routing everything. <laughs> anyway, but uh, I'm hoping I get a couple of uh, projects out of this one as well. So yeah. Anyway, it's gonna be a drum sender. This is the base, and we're gonna do it today and see how much we can. Make it so I'm gonna over, like cut a little bit oversized, like ex the exact same size, but that's gonna be too big because we're gonna have to put obviously. No, actually, yeah. So, how does that work? So, we have to inlay this into that uh, pole here, so that's gonna be very, very interesting. Okay, let's just get that out. Exactly. It's meant to work. And how are we gonna do it? Um, because how it's meant to work and we're gonna do it is always different. Because we are DIYers, DIYers, and we are liking the experiment. So yeah, yeah, there's lots, lots of engineering going on here, guys. So. Lots of trial and error, guys. Seriously. <laughs> Jesus. Like sometimes, seriously, I think they are doing that on purpose. That it get it's so hard to open. But like this plastic stuff here. Oh my god. Come on. Fuck. Oh my god. Goodness gracious. Like, Really? Does it have to be that tough? That's sometimes the hardest thing on a project is to unpack and undo all of those plastic shit things. Anyway. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh. We're gonna get something different. Two question guys leave it in the comment, comments below or in, in the chat do you guys have scissors in your shop because i don't i always have like clamps and like little cutters but do you guys have scissors in the shop if you're a woodworker do you have scissors i don't <laughs> just tell you jesus Ah! Here 
here. Christ. Okay, Christ on it. Okay, this is how it works. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. This is how it works. Yep, 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 yep. Perfect. So we have a couple of different options here. We have one, two, three, four holes for pins. So I'll probably go to the different. A few minutes second here. Ah, I got a message. Ah, I got a message. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm only streaming on YT at the moment. Uh, so I'm only streaming on YouTube. I'm not on Twitch. I don't know if like mood working would be something that Twitch would watch. So no, maybe something to consider. You reckon that the live mood working would be something that they would like on Twitch? Good question. I will consider that. If I do it the same, yeah, well, what's 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 the worst thing? Nobody watches. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I started here too. <laughs> so yeah. Um, okay, yeah. Good, good question. I'm, I'm gonna like go ahead and look at that. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. So let's please did that by the right one. Oh wow. I have to I have to show you guys that. That's like just. I bought the right ones. Yay. Okay. So these are the bearings I have. Wow. Ooh, wow, smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna inlay those bearings somewhere here. Or on this side, actually, on this side, I'm making that uh, push one. So that's gonna be outside inlay, so yeah. Okay, and this goes. Ah, well, yeah. Here, which is not correct. Anyway, we don't care because this thing is shut. Jesus! Something just fell. <laughs> ghosts, guys! Ghosts! Ghosts! Ghosts everywhere. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't <laughs> don't steal things from my wife, man. <laughs> that's that's dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. So I'm just thinking, like, do I even need those bearings if I have this? And this one goes on top of this here, really? on the outside. This is weird. Oh, this has to be hammered on. Probably on the other side. But yeah. So okay, so we we are mispurposing, like, uh, repurposing this stuff, and I think we're only using that. And is there an issue if I what? Yeah. Is there an issue if? Uh, if that pin is rubbing against that stuff here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to like, because thinking is always good to see my face when you think, like, yeah. Get another message, guys, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have a look at this. Okay, cool, yeah. Well, look, I'm gonna have a look at, at, at Twitch as well. Yeah. Like, it doesn't hurt. I think I need to get the full um, streaming version of that Streamlabs, but it's not expensive, so I'm gonna have to check it out, man. Seriously. Thanks for the tip. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out and see what I can do. But yeah, for me, it's more important to like connect with everyone. Then um, just the uh, monetizations, but yeah, monetizations, nice. <laughs> Money is always nice. Can finance this stuff here. 
So, okay, um, I'm gonna go and we cut this one here quickly. And, oh, oh. So, half an hour cleanup before we do anything as usual. Because. Messy! I'm messy! Very bad. Messy shop, inefficient shop. So, keep it clean. No one ever said it. <laughs> or no one ever did. Okay, so 22, so we're gonna do 60. So 60 should be exactly half. How long is it really? This one should be dressed in all sides, so it should be perfect. Which means that should be exactly one. It's not, it's 121. Suckers, as usual. So yeah. Okay guys, so this one is gonna be super loud. And I'm gonna turn it down, but first, first, we're gonna shut up. Look how responsible I am. I have the blade guard on. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. That much capacity? No, I don't. I do. I do. Really? What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> Anywho, so what I do is, uh, safety wise, I'm gonna clamp it onto my miter gauge and see if we can cut that. Sweet chagas, interesting. Yeah, man, look, it's not a bad idea. Seriously, because like it's not extra work or anything. I just stream at both sides at the same time. And yeah, why not? Seriously. Thanks, pal. Cool. So, yeah. Multi-platform streaming, guys. Almost, almost professional already. <laughs> anyway guys for anybody who has like who has joined now and doesn't know what we're doing we're doing live woodworking as usual <laughs> but we're building a drum center and we have done this face so far and now we have to go and get those drums going anyway i'm gonna turn you guys down now so that you don't your drums don't explode so you won't hear me as well but for that you have a bit of a better experience <laughs> thanks man, thanks thanks for the feedback Paolo. Um, I appreciate it and I appreciate you showing up at least with a YouTube account like so so like I would have never met him if anybody would even talk to him or something like that. It's just weird. So it's great when it's great like that. Like I really I really enjoy it. It's like also like it's just connecting with people like seeing you on an audience is like it's just the difference is that music running on the TV then. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's like now I can just sit here and just talk to you and just think. And I get tips like I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have even thought about. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought about so um, about the tips. Now I, 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 it crossed my mind once, but it's like, ooh, what's that? It's more like for gaming and stuff. So it's like, no, I don't really, I don't really do that. So now we we have cut. So um, obviously I did sixty centimeter exactly, but if it's a little too long now, um, which means we are going to shorten it maybe like we, we, have, we are slowly, slowly taking things away so that we don't take too much away. Uh, we
have to have a little bit of a sleep gap on the left device so that the wood doesn't um, uh, doesn't rub on the wood so that you have least friction as possible so that the motor doesn't rev and uh, that's hard um, so that's like a, but it was like this much of a difference so we got we're gonna take off like a Oh, I forgot to turn it up. Sorry, guys. I hope you heard me. <laughs> anyway, turn it down. So as I was talking to you guys, and you didn't hear me, I, I, first of all, I said thank you to um, Paolo. <laughs> and I really appreciate you showing up all the time, which is insane. And I really didn't think that people generally would show up and watch me, but um, you are like, showing up every single time. And it's awesome, mate. Like, really appreciate it. And like all those good tips as well. It's awesome. And I really appreciate like, the feedback and everything. So I'm doing my best here to get everything done. Dust it here. Mm, not bad. Should we leave it like that? Should that be our fixed space? I think so. So yeah. So um, as I just said, we we like we had we cut it a little bit oversized, and then we take a little off at a time. Lucky me, I took off a, a sliver, and <laughs> it's perfect. So I might measure that out here as well. Pretty good. Okay, it's pretty, pretty good. Okay, um, so this one has to be a bit shorter anyway. So we we'll leave that for now. Just mark it in case. We're marking it in case. Oh, didn't film it. Oh, it's okay. That's very decent. Jesus, yay! So, thanks, man. Thanks, man. So, yeah, okay, let's do it. And um, we are. I'm gonna turn you down, guys, again, so that you don't. And <laughs> I hope I don't forget to turn up again. Great, got impatient, now I've teared out. Eh. Anyway. By the way guys, if you haven't checked out that video about this um, stand, it's awesome. Oh, awesome. It's it's okay, but the stand is awesome. I'm really happy with it and I think, yeah, again, I, I draw up a plan for that uh, and that will be for free. And I will put that on my community post for everyone. So if you want to subscribe for that, awesome. And I'll probably subscribe. Thanks, man. <laughs> So, uh, it's awesome. Cool. So, this is now fitting. Wow. Perfect. Okay, so guys, now it's gonna be the complicated stuff. Uh, on this side, now we have to cut this. Uh, and we have to cut it so that it just goes through here. And I think... This side here is going to be our fixed side, which was easy. Sure, we cut it. With what do we cut it? Angle grinder? Chunky? 
Mr. Shocky on, on, on the work again. But I think it's easiest, yeah, to do it with the angle grinder. So we mark out about. How much do we need? This much. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. <laughs> Done! Ah, so they, they marked something here to do the cuts already, but. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, this one's gonna be the fixed space, and we just do that with that. With the extended one, extender. So the tricky bit is, um, if you haven't heard it yet, what we have to do is, so the rolls obviously. So we put, we want to put conveyor belt, a conveyor belt over that. So obviously we have to lift up the base, so there has to be legs underneath, so that the conveyor belt can travel underneath. Uh, but also we have to make it so that we can replace the conveyor belt at one stage. So one roll here will be fixed, and. There's not going to be the mo uh, there's going to be the motor on it, and uh, it will like turn, twist, and this one has to be adjustable, so backwards and forwards, for a bit, so that we once the conveyor belt is like effed up, we can then pull it closer. We can get the conveyor belt off, and then put it on again. So that's the idea. How we do it yet? <laughs> we figure it out as we go. Anyway, this one gonna be here and it's gonna be the fixed base. This one gonna be relatively easy because we, I'm gonna use those ones and see how that will work. Oh no, that's too long. Anyway, so we're gonna use those ones and uh, see how that will work. Yeah, so I can't use those ones. I'm not gonna use those ones. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah see how it works with the drilling. Anyway, first we have to inlay those things, and now we're gonna have to cut those ones. So if you get that far that we put one in, I'm happy. So measuring tape. Have you noticed if you put it there and you turn around, it usually is gone. No, it's not because I'm recording, but usually it is. <laughs> That thing always disappears on me. So, if we inlay that, like, so I need about five centimeters outside. So, if I do, is five centimeters enough? I need more than that, I need, yeah, okay, on this side, yes, it will be enough. So let's cut 10 and inlay 5. Done. Okay, 10 it is, 10 it is. Guys, angle grinder, my favorite tool. Oh, no, yeah. So, an angle grinder, guys, can be used for everything. I have a diamond blade on that sucker. It's insanely good. And I love it. Like it's it's dangerous, but it's an awesome tool. <laughs> yeah. um, so this thing is an awesome tool, and you will see that now that it's like I'm gonna change it over to a different view so you can see the sparks coming up because it's always awesome. And yes, so so we're gonna go and cut this here, ten centimeters wide. We inlay this one about three to five centimeters. So we drill a hole, put that one in, and glue it in somehow. I think super glue will do. <laughs> and uh, because if not, then yeah. Anyway, we'll see. And uh, yeah, so that's that's gonna be very difficult because it has to be straight drilled. I don't know how to do that yet, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, first cut that one for five centimeters. 10 centimeters. Now a sharpie would be awesome, but I don't have one. So what I do is this. Oh. Yeah, good. 
Okay guys, so with this stuff, this is super loud and you need glasses guys, always. This one like, shit goes everywhere. So PPE guys, always, so I'm using my glasses. And some of the waters, and here's a messy pad. And yeah. So that's gonna be fun. I think I have to clamp it down somehow. So that I need to hold it because the suck is gonna get hot. I'm put that down, but one stage is gonna get hot. Okay, good. So, and wow. Now I have to turn you down really bad because this is so loud. Not the cleanest cut in the world, but <laughs> it worked. So, oh, Jesus, hot. That's what I said. It's hot. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna have to sand this shit off here, that little thing here. But it almost melted off here. Jesus Christ. So, this plate is not the youngest anymore, so, but it's freaking still fucking grinding. Jesus Christ. So yeah, I love the angle grinder guys, I love it, it's awesome, okay, I think that was the quickest one, it, it, it is most spectacular, it's most spectacular, okay, so, um, I have a, oh wow, I do have a sander here, okay, let's just put the other side as well, Worry about the rest later. So we do the other side quickly, and then we're gonna sand it um, straight. So I'm gonna I have a sander that I'm gonna use in a minute. I found it. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we're gonna do this quickly and mesh out again. Another. How long did I do it? How long is it now? Okay, exactly. 10, okay. It's 10 centimeters. Or roughly 10 centimeters. I'm gonna do the same thing again, guys. So I need the glasses. Where did I put them? Show me where the glasses are. Ah, uh, here we go. Next to the default. So. <laughs> yes, I do have hair. <laughs> Look 
did okay. Guys, I'll turn it down again. Sorry. Be back. So this one is always a bit rough. I hate working with metal to be fair. I like working with wood more. But sometimes you can't get around it. So, still on. Okay, so those two are done. And they're exactly done. Wow. Okay, um, not bad. So now we. <laughs> so this is now a bit tricky because we have to exactly find the middle of that. Um, why is it so tricky that we are so, so imperative that we find the middle? So if it's not in the middle and you put it a little bit down, then, then it, it doesn't rotate, it does this, you know, so it does rup, rup, rup instead of rotating properly. So if it's exactly in the middle, it does rotate. If it does that, then it, it starts to, yeah. Spin a little bit. Wow, so much metal dust. Okay. Yeah, this is how it start fires, by the way, so be careful. Uh, okie dokie, what drill bit do we have? Okay, 
Yes, so I do have. I don't really have a drill press, but I have it. I have this thing, so maybe I can put it in between here. Clamp it in here and put the machine on top of it. Yeah. So I do have. Uh, I have that um, scent, like that drill thing off. Uh, which is uh, this one here. Oh Jesus, there's something in here still. Uh, which is this one. And it goes, it makes it straight, and I like it. Because it's drill straight. Wow, perfect. Yeah, so I can leave this drill bit in there. Okay, I think we do that. Let's try this. Let's try this, let's try this. First, we need that. Okay. Oh wow, it started raining guys. I hope um, it's not too heavy because when it gets too heavy rain, uh, the sound gets weird. Okay, so how do we do the measurement best? Let's Google it quickly. How to find the middle of a round object. Easy woodworking tips. Does anybody have that easy woodworking tip? Easy woodworking tip. On the phone. So, okay, so um, we are trying here to find the middle of that thing. I just need to, I just, just need to mesh it anyway. So let's laugh. This this one is more accurate. So let's do pivot point one. I'm just blanking out here how to do that. Jesus. Ah, uh, be smart, be smart, be smart. Anybody in the chat? Can you tell me how to find the middle of a pole? was a trick. I knew it once.
Jesus Christ. We do have to move it. <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> so guys, I learned something just now and I'm gonna teach you. Okay, um so how to find that is we gotta go and okay that's gonna be interesting. Um I'm gonna just switch the view here. Sorry guys, I had to look that up because I had I had no clue. So okay, um basically go here. And measure this out, and you clamp that like this, weirdly enough, on it. Where's the clamp? clamp, clamp, clamp. Sorry guys, I have to do it over here. So, clamp it on it. And basically, so, basically you put it here, like this, and then that flush with the bottom, and then you just make 45 degree, I guess because it's 45 degree, you go always in the middle somehow. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Okay, I'll do that. Clamp that on here. Go on the way. Jesus, how cool is that trick? Ah, where is it? Here we go. I have to film that, Jesus. Ah, such a good trick. Everyone should know that. Pretend to pull it up again. Yes, about the middle, kind of. Can you see that? To the right. There you go. Is that the middle? Doesn't look like the middle. I guess I do something wrong here. Let it feel like more. Looks, looks like more. I 
think. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. We don't even know if that works with that stuff. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we'll see. We will see, we will see, we will see. It looks like the center might be okay. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. We trial it, guys, we trial it. So, I think I can maybe do this a bit here. If you can see what I'm doing here. Or not. It's not only. Oh, no. Okay, well, different view there. Ta-da! Hello, we are back. So, I'm clamping this on and then I'm using this device here to and see if we can nicely and easily drill a centered hole here. Sometimes you have to make it work, guys. I've never drilled in anything like that. Like a round that has to be exactly in the center. Who does that? Who does that? But yeah. Problem solving, guys. Problem solving. That's what it is all about. You have a problem, you solve it. Oh, Jesus. Sorry guys, you can't see that here right now, but that's so chunky. <laughs> yeah. I'm having fun here. Okay. Okay. Okay, not bad. Okay, not bad. To be fair, actually not bad. It looks dead on in the middle. Okay. Oh no, please don't do it. Ah! It moved. Ha! My clamp is not holding it. You know. I 
let's try it. Ah, oh, I moved. That moved. Jesus. Here you go. There you go. So, now we're getting real professional here. on so it's not Not sure yet, guys. Not sure yet. Probably. Looks pretty easy, it? but now obviously this is not big enough to drill it. Is it bigger? Yeah, it's way bigger. So we need this one. I had the problem last time that I can't, couldn't get it done because I lost that pin somewhere. Okay. So now we are looking for a drill press. You know that, that key that you have, did it, did you have? And I don't know where I put it. And we need it right now because I need to release the thing and get the neutral bit on. Well, actually, I don't. I could theoretically do this. Wing it. Why 
why not? It's pre drilled, so it shouldn't be too big, difficult. Should go automatically this way. Oh, Jesus. Biggest drill I have. Uh, I need a bigger drill, guys. Didn't think about that. It's getting chunky and chunky, guys. Should we do this? With a router. I have a router tape here. This one is a beast, though. I'm a bit afraid of this one. No, no way. No way. No way, no way, no way. Okay, so how can we do that differently, guys? We don't have enough. So now we can probably hammer it. Look at this guy. <laughs> Anywho. So now. <laughs> this is not in the middle though. I don't think so. At least. That's pretty straight. Oh no, it's not. my open one guys this is gonna be a bit complicated I can tell you tell that already I can say that already so there's something difficult here happening so how can I do that better Whew. oh are we having a question guys oh Nick man 
Nick, how's it going? Um, so what are we doing today? Or we starting today's? We are building a drum center, <laughs> and we are building the. So there's a lot of thinking and engineering going on at the moment. So we're building a drum center, which means. So this is the base for it. There's going to be a conveyor belt feeding it through, and on top is going to be a, a bigger drum with sandpaper and sending it down. So it's going to be a DIY drum center, which is insane. So yeah, that's going to be an interesting one. But uh, I'm uh, struggling a little bit with a couple of things uh, with accuracy for with those ones. So that is obviously not straight, so we have to fix that. Oh, there's a fridge. Stuff in there still. So, this, so it, it has to be obviously totally centered here. So the problem I'm facing at the moment, this one has to be totally centered. And working as well and straight. If it's not, then it's obviously not going to spin properly. So now I'm trying to figure out how can I make that in a way that it's absolutely straight and centered. So I measure the center out. I have this drill press here. And drill it kind of a uh, straight hole, but kind of not. And the drill bit is a bit too small. So <laughs> lots of challenges. A shoe rack, man, nice. Awesome. Look, if you're making a shoe rack, send me a photo, I post it. Like I'm I'm interested how what are you what are you doing? Like Awesome, like small projects are the best, man. Like, or like projects like that are the best. Best to learn everything to do, like, you just figure things out. Shrewd is awesome, true and useful, man. Everyone is using it always. So, yeah, it's great. So, I think it's a great project. To be fair, this project I'm doing here is a bit insane, a bit too big, but why not be insane? <laughs> You know me, man. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, send it through. I'll post it. Ah, it's awesome. So it's it is it is straight. I can put it straight in there, but it's a little bit. It has a little bit of a play. And I think it's centered. So how, like, yeah, so now it's a question, how can I figure that out best? So it runs smoothly here. Actually, it's pretty, pretty close here anyway, so if it's not 100%, it should be fine. Ah! <laughs> Do the other side. Okay.
yeah. Equipment is never, ever the issue. You always make it work somehow. It's the number one rule, you always somehow make it work. Jesus! That moved. Ah. Yeah, that moved. Jesus. I started center, then it went off center. How can you fix it? Anyway. Ah. I think I have to get a different system for this, right? Because that's too hard. You can't be perfect with that. At least not with the equipment I have. So. something but I need to get a get something for that which means there's a little bit of a yeah we might do it this different way because this way how I planned it is too hard I'm not good enough in woodworking for that guys ah, this one is okay but this one was shock yes Yeah, no, I need a drill press, man. I have a drill press, a really old, shitty one. But how do you drill into a drill press if it's that long? <laughs> so there's something here. I have to somehow get something. There must be something where you can drill, center drill holes uh, for round stuff, round stock. And I'm pretty sure there is something, but I think I go a different route. I think, um, yeah. There's a different lot. There might be a different lot. Anyway, because this one is not working at all. This one is now shut. Mm -hmm. So. Still keep going with it.
Maybe. A darling cheek. Yeah. Maybe a darling cheek. I don't trust myself making something myself. Because that has to be exact. If it's not 100%, then it's like, it does what it's actually uh, like doing right now. So, but yeah, maybe a darling chick or something. But I think there's, uh, there's, there's some chicks for centering this stuff. Nah! Another thing is to make something small and screw it on as out of wood. Like it can be. Then I'm losing some width here, which is alright because the, yeah, it's fine. That's just a conveyor belt. So I could make something out of a plywood sheet, put it on, set it square. Man, and then go through that one and attach this to the plywood instead. And then I could theoretically brush them with it. Um, This is a tough project, so we're gonna have a lot of thinking. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <laughs> we both are. Good to have someone to like bounce off an idea, <laughs> even though it's 10 seconds delayed. <laughs> Probably have to take it off <laughs> so that I get more ideas from you guys. Um, so let's see. This thing here did work at all. Okay. If this thing is great for drilling straight down. But it has a bit of give. So it does a little bit, it has a bit of the deflection somewhere. Oh no, it doesn't. Why did it, did it deflect? Oh, yeah. A little. So, yeah. Okay, but not fantastic. So, what we could do theoretically, we could, I, I just go to a different view here, correct? No? So, I have a piece of plywood here. That's square. So with square we can work. We can always find the center of that. And we can drill it through. So how can we attach this here? We drill a hole. And is that enough? Maybe we'll thick a piece of cloud. Grab a piece of plywood, red. Okay, that would be maybe thick enough. So, make this square, a square piece. There's nothing square on it, great. Um, make this a square piece. Square it off, get the center, drill it in, attach glue here which means I'm losing this thickness how about that instead of putting a hole to here would that be stable enough hmm. maybe double it up maybe double it but then you double it then you quadruple, quadruple it because you lose them four times this thickness which is annoying, uh, and I really don't want to do it. So, maybe it's enough. But we won't know until the conveyor belt is here, we can push it, or we do some tests here. Let's see, okay. Can the tail saw, we'll welcome back. Welcome back, tail saw.
You can't see me right now. So we have to have this thickness of this plywood here. Which now I'm back I'm like God. I'm once I'm from once safe and now my play card is on like Yeah, anyway, in the way. Ha! Okay, okay, so this should look alright. Okay. So this is the thickness of that now. I'm gonna turn it down guys and then I hopefully don't forget to turn it up again. So now, <laughs> lots of experimenting today guys, we have these little square pieces, they are actually going perfectly onto this here, so I can make that centered, so I can glue that on, so it's perfect center. So I can also drill a hole here that is perfect center. So we can try and get this now with this thing here, oh, this is gonna twist, spin. Why didn't I do it right away? Anyway, get the perfect center one here. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that's gonna be a difficult one, but I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, so we super glue this on because then it can't go anywhere. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go over here a bit and I'm gonna change your view again so that you can see what I'm doing. So I like that's what I'm thinking anyway. Center this bit and then get that glued on to the other dowel here. This massive dowel here that we have. So let's see if that works. This tabletop has to be um, re replaced soon too. <laughs> Sacrificial tabletop. Come off, man. Here we go. Okay. Big dab of super glue. Like the best break. And come on. And 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 stuck. Good. So now, oh my god, I had to go to the freaking edge again. Please don't move. Actually, it doesn't move. Well, let's just... And so yeah, so this is. Fortunately, I don't have a zoom on the camera. I need to get the camera with zoom. My next purchase. Oh, I moved the camera a bit over so that you can see more here anyway. So, um, yeah, let's do this all. That's going to be much more accurate because it's much a shorter hold and we do easily, I think, make that center. And now, Now we have a center hole, at least. That's an advantage. Really big advantage. So. That's a first step down. Now we have to... Ah, jeez. Widen that hole. Nobody ever has used a chamfering bit for drilling. Ha! Okay, so this one now here should be wow, very nice and tight. Okay, cool, perfect. So I'm gonna do ah, get this off here. I hope I didn't put too much. Ooh. Wow, that's a good super glue. <laughs> Next time I'll pop glue it. Where is my 
Okay, I can fail one more time. Two more times, sorry. And then I'm. <laughs> I'm not afraid anymore. Then I can't fail anymore. It's just not gonna work anymore. Otherwise, you fail again. If you fail again, I have an issue. Screws it is. <laughs> Probably easier. Would have been easier from the beginning. Okay, two more screws. So, instead of super glue, and then we put it super glue it with a, some. So, so a dab of super glue and a dab of wood glue on it. So that's on it. And then we fix those ones in, but we have to shorten those ones again. Which crazy. Crazy guys, I need a second battery before I get insane here. Just switching along batteries. Come on, stop it. Yep, okay. Okay. 
Ah, okay. Um. How do I get you off now? Okay, that's super tight and I think that's thick enough to be actually stable as well. Which means, I think that's the way to go guys. Even though I'm not centering this one here. Because I don't know how I missed that. But which is fine. I can still center. Come on, hurt yourself now. Okay, so that's on now, which is awesome. Did you get another message? I said an old one. That, that's an old one. Good. Ah. Ah. So yeah, question. That's a good question now. So how do we do that best? Obviously that's not center, so I messed this one up again. Which is crazy shit. I don't know how to... I can't truly understand the whole... That's why you go to the gym, guys. Okay, so this one. Better? Not great yet. But way better. And I think we can do this. So we can put this one here. And so if we put this one here, square. Which is exactly the width so I can flush it off on all sides and then it's perfectly in the center and then we make this happen but I think we're not gonna make it happen tonight guys this is insane Yeah guys, so um, I think that's it for the day. We got some things done. We built the frame. We did get... Uh, we are advanced with our system here, which is great, which is what we need. And we will see how far we come next time. Next time I expect to mount both 
rolls on each side and maybe start on the framing already of the top bit and I have a really cool system there to like do the height adjustment and everything so this threaded rod comes into it very simple very straightforward but this threaded rod comes in. very handy with that so that's gonna be interesting guys so yeah um, I think Again guys, thanks so much. We struggled a little bit, so we couldn't finish um, exactly what we wanted to finish today. But next time we're gonna go keep continuing with those rolls. And uh, we also hopefully have our final parts finished here, and our final parts arriving here. And we can keep going and move on. And if you don't get the rolls going, we can keep going with the structure itself. Put it on legs and yeah. As usual guys, thanks so much for joining. Paul, Nick, you guys are my, as a Paolo, Nick, sorry. Paolo, Nick, you guys are my MVPs today. Um, and thanks Paolo for the tip on Twitch. I, I might do that, literally, like, yeah. I might go on Twitch as well and see how it works there. Um, yeah, as always guys, I appreciate you. And I hope I'll see you next week. Thanks so much. Super keen to be back, guys. Super keen to be back. Finally do something we're working. <laughs> okay, have a good one, guys. Have a good week. i see you next time. <laughs> have a great week, guys. See you later, guys. <laughs>